live from Washington, D.C., it's theCUBE, covering AWS Public Sector Summit 2018, brought to you by Amazon Web Services and its ecosystem partners. Hey, welcome back everyone. This is theCUBE live in Washington, D.C. for AWS Amazon Web Services Public Sector Summit. This is the event for global public sector. And I'm John Furrier with Dave Vellante. Our next guest is Salman Al-Khalifa, Vice CEO of Bahrain Information and E-Government Authority. Excited to have him on theCUBE. Been dying to talk to you for over a year. Welcome to theCUBE, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, so one of the things we've been covering, and Therese has been really hot on this for over a year, and I think people are starting to figure it out, that the digital nation concept of digitizing and being a digital country um, is a moonshot kind of thinking, but it's reality for a lot of people. You guys have a story working with AWS I think is super fascinating. Um, so I want to get into it. How did it all start? What are you guys doing? Take a minute to explain what's going on in Bahrain in your country. All right, how to, how to start? Basically every IT guy in government is like bogged down. Day in, day out, buying stuff, building stuff, and it's a constant you know, race to just keep changing things over. We've got a really smart leader, and he, know, he has a vision. So he said, we're going to go to the cloud. And I said, we, it caught us by off guard. I said, what do you mean, take everything and move it to the cloud? That's, that's crazy. But sitting down and really analyzing what the cloud will do for us, I was excited. I mean, take into consideration, 70% of our time is spent buying, installing, and rebuying and reinstalling stuff. So I'm in a constant cycle of buying, tendering, and you know government bu bureaucracy. Yeah. You can't pick up the phone and say, hey, HP, hey, get us a server, get us this application. No, you need to put it in the public domain. You need to put it in a tender, evaluate it publicly, and then write a contract, and the contract, but it takes you to buy anything six months. So you're constantly, every month, issuing tenders. And you're losing sight of what's really important. It's building applications that can help the citizen, not helping vendors. And I think the key thing here is we need to focus our attention on building applications that serve the citizen. That's the bottom line, that's what we own. We own the business, we own the data, not the hardware. We don't want to keep buying hardware. So what the cloud gave us was the ability to innovate without having to go through all those hoops. And I think that is the real benefit to us as a, as a government. All right, so what's the status the of the current situation? Amazon's a provider. Yep. Talk about the relationship with Amazon, and then we'll come into the cool things that are going on in Bahrain. Now, Amazon is a strategic partner. They've opened up a region in Bahrain because the government uh, saw this is the right approach. I mean, we've always seen where, the, where everything is going. In the 1970s, the government had the first satellite in the region, Lebanon, the war came on, and then the banks panicked. Where did they go? And they came where? The only region that was available and was able to take all the international banks at that time, Bahrain. And so Bahrain was established as a banking sector. Now, we are betting on the cloud, and Amazon being the biggest and the best, more options for us, we're betting big on Amazon. We believe by having Amazon in Bahrain, it, they will, it will help stimulate and, 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 and stimulate the innovation of our citizens. Because at the end of the day, we're not going to be, we're not an oil rich country. Our crown jewels is the citizen, and the people are the innovators. They are going to be our future developers and entrepreneurs. And making them ready for the cloud is going to help us succeed. And that's where we see Amazon. What's the mission and vision of the e-government authority and the um, modernization with digital? Is it to not make citizens um, happy, of course? Is it to attract um, business in? Is there a, so talk about the mission of Bahrain, because obviously, when you stand up the cloud, Amazon region, it's going to be, it's like a lot of things are going to start happening. Are you guys looking for more outward migration, inward migration of talent and business? What are you guys trying to achieve? B business can work anywhere, but business wants to work in an environment where it's easy for them to establish. Without the bureaucracies, they can establish it them themselves in hours, not in weeks or months. That's what we want. We want people to come and establish their business in Bahrain and serve the region. That's the ultimate objective. And have a workforce that is competent enough to work in 
today's technology, not on yesterday's technology. And I think that is where we see it, is an innovative marketplace that is flexible enough to accommodate any international company coming in and help stimulate local products, and that's the other part. So you have to have the infrastructure that attracts exactly. those people. Exactly, That makes them want to come to you. I mean, that's almost table stakes, right? Now, talk about the, 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 your journey, if, if I met you. We saw the gentleman from the CIA talk about the icebergs today. Um, that you, the part you see, maybe the software, the, maybe the licenses, but there's everything else. You talked about the installation, the planning, the maintenance. How has that been affected, or how do you expect that to be affected, that below the iceberg that you see? So we've built up the, the below the iceberg. We're actually moving to the new iceberg, but that's the iceberg is the cloud. So we've already have our, our there are a lot of smart people that we work with us, and, and they've adapted their architecture and our applications to suit the cloud. And so what they've done is come up with um, a master architecture for all the government agencies to follow. We don't need to reinvent the wheel. We tell them how to do it, this is how you're going to yeah. protect yourselves, and we have a team there to support have all the 40 agencies that are moving to the cloud. So that's step one, we've got the right architecture, we've got a light security in place uh, that is open to, uh, that has so many options and flavors that allows them to innovate as well. Got and a lot of flex down to a single stack. You got a lot of flexibility, but also just to give you guys some uh, credit, you're the first country to adopt a cloud first yes. policy. Yes. In this the region. Is, yes. In the, in the region, this is yes. historic. What's the impact of that? What's been the feedback? Are people like confused? Are they happy? Are they are jumping up and down? What's going on? Uh, truth? <laughs> Panic. <laughs> 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 to start. Yeah. But what, like I did, but once they understood what, what's in state, yeah. oh, they're loving it. I mean, I, I, we can't keep, keep up. Some agencies are faster than others, some are slower than others, and, and for different reasons. Obviously, the different stacks that they have. But in reality, now, fear has changed over to excitement. And I think that, that I can see right now. I can, we can't keep up, so we had to work with local partners to help um, other agencies move to the cloud faster. So that is the positive side. So, as you rightly mentioned, it starts out with the cloud first, but once you do that, um, they need to be educated. So we've set up sort of a program where we can reskill the, the IT guys in government and say, here you go, go here are the courses, go in, no charge, we're going to help take, skill you up to the cloud, and they're loving it. So anybody, especially our developers, they're loving it. Anything away from operations, they're loving it. They don't need to deal with, uh, with, uh, with the operations guys, because we've already started to establish a DevOps, and with this DevOps, the, the, the agility of moving seamless the application faster to the cloud becomes much smoother. Talk about startups in the region, the startup mentality. When John first told me about Bahrain, and we we're so excited to have you on, he's like, Dave, this country is like the startup mentality country. Uh, talk about the startups, cloud, and that mentality. In the region previously, um, there's not much startups historically. But with the cloud, that is the ultimate catalyst for any startup. If you had an idea and you wanted to develop it, you used to have to invest a lot of money into, into infrastructure, security, but with the cloud, with serverless, with all the tools that you've got, it's going to cost you nothing to establish an application. You have enough tools to compete against the big establishments out there. So we've got Kareem, for example, uh, which is basically a local taxi, uh, ta uh, car hire, taxi hire company, like, Uber of the world, and it's doing incredibly well. It's shockingly well, and 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 they, and, and they're like the the Cinderella story of the region. And now everybody's into it. Everybody's building application. The last application I heard was a guy who hinks up all the fishermen in the ports, and they can sell their their fish to the to the locals without the middleman. And that's what you're going to see. It says small guys coming up and girls coming up with in. Uh, applications that will innovate the way they do business, and we will see a lot more of it with the cloud. And, and that's, a, that's a motivational factor. People are seeing real ad advantages coming off this, what was once a scary prospect of cloud, to innovation yep. actually happening. Okay, how do you continue it? What's the plan? How are you going to keep the train rolling, keep the momentum going? 
what's the, what's, the, what's the focus, what's your plan? So we've got the Economic Development Board, and the Economic Development Board will handle that sector. And basically the, their focus is stimulate the market regionally and locally and help innovators and entrepreneurs establish themselves on the cloud in Bahrain. And they, they are giving them every kind of support you can imagine. Capacity building, capacity on the cloud, um, e even um, accounting, um, business ad advice, all of that is free. And that is amazing. So as a startup, you know the tech, you know the problem, but you don't know how to stab yourself in the cloud. All right, you go to these guys and they say, okay, here's enough credit through another organization, take it to the cloud. You want to stab market your product? Here's another company. And that is all embedded and free of charge. And that will, ha I believe, really help stimulate uh, uh, these small but innovative companies and help them grow. So thoughts on the AWS partnership. Obviously they chose to put a region in the region, in your country. That's got to be huge, but, but what's the relationship like with, with AWS? Where do you want to see it go? All right, so we're at the lift and shift stage at that. We just started, as you guys are aware. Yeah. But already in the pipeline, we're looking at innovations on the cloud. So healthcare is a big deal for us, and we believe that, um, that the healthcare in the region has a lot of opportunities of, to improve. And by moving the healthcare systems to the cloud and leveraging artificial intelligence, um, helping things like uh, oncology departments um, uh, identify cancer better, treat cancer better, using technology, I think is the next frontier for us. I believe that is an opportunity. Um, I believe we'll see a lot of more innovation and in simplifying government processes through mobile apps. Uh, that will, will come in much better. Um, but I think we'll be more efficient. We will be able to continuously improve government services, for example, in the cloud, at a faster rate. It used to take us two years for a change, yeah. now it's going to take us weeks for a change. And that, that's, that's the degree of uh, flexibility and, and rapid response that we can give to our citizens, to our guests that come into the country, uh, to, to satisfy their demands. And your developers. Yeah. yeah. Our developers are living. Yeah. It's a huge op economic opportunity to grow a new generation yes. of citizens that are tech savvy and they don't have to be total nerds. You can just, anyone can be programming, anyone can be developing big data. It should open up, I think, really good commerce for you guys as well. I think that's a great opportunity. The question is, when is the Cube going to come to Bahrain? When are we going <laughs> to see the Cube? We're getting to on the plane right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, Salman, thanks for spending the time. Great to see you. Final question. For the folks watching back at home and around the world, AWS Public Sector Summit here in Washington, D.C. What's your impression, uh, the vibe? What's the content for the people who aren't here? Take a minute to share your color commentary on what's happening here. I, I think it's, it's very difficult to, to express the enthusiasm. It's in the air, you can smell it, you can feel it. The way people are talking, it's, it's not only the private sectors that are talking about moving to the cloud, it's government, and you feel it here. It's not a pipe dream, it's a reality. And I think coming here to will really show people yeah. that the world is changing, yeah. and if they're not on the cloud, they're going to be left behind. I think it's that an is opportunity. It's a big opportunity. Oh, it's an opportunity. So, well, thanks for coming on theCUBE, really appreciate it. Great to see you on theCUBE, this is theCUBE. I'm John Furrier with Dave Vellante, bringing you all the action, most important stories happening here at AWS Public Sector Summit. You know, Bahrain Cloud First Policy, really going to pay off a real investment in the future of their citizens. An example of being cloud first, creating value. Stay with us, more live coverage here in Washington after this short break. <laughs>